if you are calm, you are reserved, you've won my heart already. I like reserved men. I don't like social media men. In the sense that men that wants to be everywhere. This minute you see them on Facebook, the next minute you see them on Twitter, the next minute they are on Instagram. What are they doing there? They should go look for money and take care of their kids and wife, not be on social media doing nothing. So, I like tall guys. Not really very, very tall. No. It's okay. If you have a good heart as a man, fine. If I love you, let it go. Let it flow. Let the energy flow. I am Mary Siyamu. I have a native thing that a lot of people don't know about except from my immediate family. And my native name is Arama. The full title is Arama Gberovo. Mm. So my name is Maris Arama Gyam. Oh my god, growing up was fun. Growing up in Benin City, it's one thing I cannot forget in a hurry. I remember when I was growing up, during my primary school days, so there's one thing my dad usually did to us. If we don't get ready on time to go to school, we'll say, you know what will happen? I'll be driving, you will be walking after me or running after me. So my dad will be driving. Once he's driving, and we are late for school. So for us not to come, a big, the reason why we didn't come out on time, since we cannot explain to him, so if he's driving, we'll be running after his car. We'll be running, we'll be running. To get to a point, we'll say, okay, come in time. So it was fun. And growing up in Benin City was fun. I attended Greater Tomorrow Primary School at Liberty Street of Iyama, GRA, Benin City. No, Ruben Aho is the secondary school. The primary school is opposite the street opposite Ebenezer, which is Greater Tomorrow Primary School, Liberty. Okay, and secondary school? Girls, Mo, Dad, Abudu. I was a boarding student for six years. <laughs> and it was a single school, though. Yeah, after my, my secondary school, my work, I wrote my work in Abudu. After then, I, I wrote jam. After jam, I wrote posteriorly. I was supposed to go to University of Abuja, which is Uniabu. So, but at the end of the day, posteriorly knocked me out with two, just two scores, as in just two numbers. Uh, posteriorly knocked me out. Mm. I had to look for plan B. I wrote first year in Unibea. Unibea admitted me, public administration. I studied public administration in Unibea. Not yet a baby mama. Cancelled. Not married. Married. Cancelled. I am still single. No, no, for me, not their popularity. I think uh, a lot of men don't take them serious because of their feed she gets. So they are scared to come close to actresses because they feel they will not settle down yet. And uh, if they settle down with you now, they want to leave you in the nearest future. But it's not like that. For me, I think they judge them wrongly. For me, I want to get married. I want to be a mother. My mother gave birth to me, so I want to be a mother. I want to take care of my kids. I want to watch my children grow up. So, don't worry. From now to a few years, I should be married. I must be married, by God's grace. My type of man, I like tall guys. I love men who are reserved. I don't like talkatives. If you are calm, you are reserved, you've won my heart already. I like reserved men. I don't like social media men. In the sense that men that wants to be everywhere. This minute you see them on Facebook, the next minute you see them on Twitter, the next minute they are on Instagram. What are they doing there? They should go look for money and take care of their kids and wife, not be on social media doing nothing. So, I like tall guys. Not really very, very tall now. It's okay. If you have a good heart as a man, fine. If I love you, let it go. Let it flow. Let the energy flow. So that is it. 
yes people make money online so men are too lousy on the internet do you get they are not even making money there if you're making money on the internet it's fine by me but when you're not you are just on the internet lousy making noise for no reason that's not my kind of man it turns me off Yes, the truth of the matter is a lot of them deceived them. Yes, a lot of men deceived actresses into marriage. So we are in, when they are in the marriage already, later they started finding out so many things about a man. There is no woman that will be happy that, that when she finds out that you deceived her into marriage. There is no woman that will be happy, trust me. Not yes, it's always about a man. Yes, the yes. The women don't have no, the women have issues. The women have issues. Of course, it's vice versa. It's the both parties. What if your husband says he won't allow you to continue? If my husband says, sweetheart, I will not allow you to continue acting. I will tell him, darling, please. And if he still kick against it, fine. But if he will not allow me to continue acting as a career. But at least it will allow me to produce and write movies and then i will go more into directing so that i will still be in the picture Ooh. Mm. i'm one person that have passion for acting i admire entertainers so much when i was growing up there are two things I wish to become when I'm grown and which is I want to be an actress I want to be a lawyer yes I always use it to think I want to be an actress I want to be an actress they ask me well, what do you tend to be I said I want to be an actress I want to be a lawyer <laughs> so I have passion for acting and when I was in school I still have that that zeal to become an actress that zeal to be in front of screen to get to be on the screen i want to be a screen diva i want to be a screen goddess so that zeal was still in me so i talked to my sister and my sister said okay my husband's younger sister she's a producer so i think i'll talk to her which she did and the lady said okay fine if you want to ask i said yes i said okay she registered me so that's how i became an actress that's how, that's how i started acting five years now mm. <laughs> so I am five years in the game so you know one of those that will say they started acting straight out from the womb no uh, no 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 for me acting is not it's not involved what do you mean by that I started acting five years ago oh, the journey has been very smooth with of course they are ups and down but for me i think my ups and down it's in a mad thing to me because there is nothing you would do in life that they will not be ups and down it prepares you for the future which you get so there was ups and down and they are still going to be ups and down because i'm not done with the career yet i'm still pushing I have a role model <laughs> and she's Eukarya Anunobi. Yes. She's one one lady I have so much love and respect for. I admire her so much. There's one thing I love about her, the way she interprets her roles. You need to see Eukarya when she's playing a seductive role. Sweetheart, she interprets it with her eyes. Her high contact, her fingers, her body movement, everything. She is super. So she is my role model. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yes, she is now a pastor, an evangelist. Yes, yes. It's so, cool. So you, you want to go that way? No, I don't want to. You know why I don't want to? 
Uh, I don't know. I, I can't say no, though. I, I can't say no. It, if it's God's will, fine. But I have to prepare myself spiritually. I have to be spiritually sound to wake up one morning and say I want to be an evangelist. So, if it's God's will, it's fine by me. I do movies, yes. When I was growing up, I don't know how to speak the name. Yes. I started learning Bini language in this industry, Edo industry. That's why I started learning Bini language. If you can go back to some of my movies, the movies I did like uh, four or five years ago, my Bini no clear. Do you understand? They always laugh at me. Marriage, you don't have to speak Benin. You speak Benin like this, like that. I say it's not my fault. But now, trust me, I think I am 80% good now when it comes to Benin. Yes. I choose Edelang Edel movies because I want to learn more, more of our culture and more of our tradition and our language as well. That's the main reason why I choose Edel movies. No, 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 I don't want to stereotype myself and uh, I do English movies as well, I do English movies, I go out, I travel to Asaba Lagos, Enugu, Onicha to do English movies, but mostly I do indigenous movies which is Edo movies. The boats, yeah, the boats are challenging because there's um, a do pronunciation. I don't, I can't really say, but for me, if I want to do a balance, I'm still going to choose the adult movie over the English movie. You know why? 90% of what I have today was given to me from the adult movie. Do you get? So if not for a do movie, who is married here, man? Nobody know me now. We walk up as it was street, they don't know me, they don't care. But because of the do movies that I've been doing for the past five years, that's why a lot of people recognize me. A lot of people know me. There are things I can do in Benin, there are things I cannot do in Benin because of my face. So I'm still gonna choose a do movie. Yes. Okay. I I think the indoor entertainment needs sponsors. We need earth. We need people that can take us to the next level. She gets. We need assistance from the government. We alone cannot do it. Because entertainment is a large, is a large, a large system, a large sector that can accommodate a lot of people. It serves as job opportunities to people. A lot of people are feeding their families, their loved ones through entertainment. Do you understand? So for that reason, please, we need sponsors from the government and from individuals that can take us to the next level. Most of my movies are self-produced because I'm, I'm also a producer. I produce and I write stories as well. I write my scripts, so, but I don't direct. Mm. So I cannot be a master of all, so I don't direct. For me, my favorite movie is Io Donico. Yes. That's my favorite movie. The reason is because in that movie you could see the other side of me. Io Donico. That's my favorite movie. And it was a movie that was produced and screenplayed by me. But directed by Orlando Usamuyime Uyebu. Five? Oh my god. Okay. The boy of your own. Beautiful actor. He's very sound. 
Jumbo Eyarua, another beautiful actor. He is very sound. Okay, Azubene, she's a beautiful actress. Pat Obasuye, another wonderful actress. Eunice Omorigi, love it to In fact, I have a lot. In fact, if you tell me to start naming them now, I will start giving you their names one after the other because they are sound. They are good at what they know how to do. Hey God, Edo. I give me more than lucky. Oh, sorry, I'm going give my Very, very, very sweet. Ah, ah, don't you get it? I am still working on myself because I want to speak Edo language fluently without issues. So my spare time, I listen to music. And I do music precisely. Well, I listen to blues, reggae, hip hop, but firstly, it's a do music. Hmm. My favorite. I have three favorite Edo musicians. Yes. You want me to name them for you? Yes. Okay. First, Stanley Iona one. Secondly, influence Akaba. Yes. And thirdly, Akubegi Winsi Egyata. Those are my three best. Whiskey. See what savage. Ah, see what savage. See what I Forever, two face forever. <laughs> of course, we are still his fan. My New Year resolution: let peace reign. That's my New Year resolution. Hmm. Social media. Hmm. Let peace reign, no. That's my New Year revolution. Please! Is there, is there some bad blood in the between uh, artists and uh, yeah, the uh, so Of course, uh, they are united. So the unity is very strong. Because they said, a cook boy thing. Yes, I have a lot of plans for the year 2020. I'm sorry, I can't let my plans out yet. So I will let my plans out when I'm actualizing the plan. So for now, I'm sorry, I can let it out because it's my plan. I saw your, I saw your post recently. Mm -hmm. eh? yes. you yes. yes, I said this here. <clears throat> I will look forward to dating again and fall in love again. I said, I fear, fear of, fear, fear of, I will not fall in love. I will be out. It has to end last year, which is 2019. So 2020, I will fall in love again. Yes. There was a movie I just did of recent, like days ago, I just concluded a location. It's uh, Okweyoma. Movie produced. And directed by Ebony Abasuya. Oh, it's a beautiful story. Beautiful storyline with wonderful cast and crew. So I expect it. To so my fans, I love you all. Please keep supporting me, keep supporting Mary CM, keep supporting the Edo industry. We appreciate all your encouragement so far. And we promise to always give you good movies. We we'll always believe it. And if you want to watch good and quality movies, go to my CM TV on YouTube. Just click on the subscription button, click on the icon, and subscribe. Subscribe to my CM TV. And on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Maris Yamu. On Facebook, Marisiamu on Twitter Marisiamu I love you all